Welcome to Medical Terminology Final Exam Practice Questions, Part 3. There are 51 questions in this video. Ready? Please click on like and subscribe to help with the YouTube algorithm so we can help other students. If you can comment, that's even better. Thank you for your support. Now, let's start. Question 1. Amphetamine and caffeine, A. Endocrine drugs. B. Cardiovascular drugs. C. Analgesic drugs. D. Stimulant drugs. E. Anticoagulant drugs. The answer is, D. Stimulant drugs. Penicillin, A. Antihistamine. B. Analgesic. C. Antimetic. D. Antibiotic. E. Hypnotic. The answer is, D. Antibiotic. What is the medical specialty that studies the characteristics and uses of radioactive substances in diagnosis of disease? A. Radiology. B. Nuclear medicine. C. Radiation oncology. D. Ultrasonography. The answer is, B. Nuclear medicine. What does a radiologist do? A. Treats malignancy with radiation. B. Aids a physician in administering X-ray procedures. C. Specializes in the practice of administering diagnostic nuclear medicine procedures. D. Specializes diagnostic techniques such as ultrasound, MRI and CT scans. The answer is, D. Specializes diagnostic techniques such as ultrasound, MRI and CT scans. What best characterizes an MRI? A. Sagittal, frontal, and cross-sectional images are produced using magnetic and radio waves. B. Sound images are produced in addition to magnetic images. C. X-rays and a contrast medium are used. D. Radioactive matter enhances X-rays. The answer is, A. Sagittal, frontal, and cross-sectional images are produced using magnetic and radio waves. What is the meaning of adduction? A. Bending a part of the body. B. Moving the part of the body toward the midline of the body. C. Moving the part away from the midline. D. Turning inward. The answer is, B. Moving the part of the body toward the midline of the body. What can thyroid scans detect? A. Cirrhosis and splenomegaly due to abscess or tumor. B. Blood flow through the heart and large vessels. C. Areas of metabolic deficiency in the brain. D. Thyroid carcinoma. The answer is, D. Thyroid carcinoma. Spread of malignant tumors to a distant location. A. Metastasis. B. Anaplasia. C. Infiltration. D. Invasion. E. Capsulation. The answer is, A. Metastasis. Example of a solid tumor derived from epithelial tissue. A. Lyomyoma. B. Rhabdomyoma. C. Chondrosarcoma. D. Adenocarcinoma of the lung. E. Ewing sarcoma. The answer is, D. Adenocarcinoma of the lung. Localized tumor growth. A. Metastasis. B. Carcinoma in situ. C. Pleomorphic. D. Anaplastic. E. Sarcoma. The answer is, B. Carcinoma in situ. Staging a tumor means, A. Assessing the degree of differentiation. B. Analyzing the microscopic appearance of tumor cells. C. The tumor has spread. D. Assessing the extent of tumor spread. E. Need for radiotherapy. The answer is, D. Assessing the extent of tumor spread. Cauterization. A. Treating a tumor with freezing temperatures. B. Treating tissue with heat. C. Drying tissue electrically. D. Surgical puncture to remove fluid. E. Removing cells by scraping the walls of an organ. The answer is, B. Treating tissue with heat. Hair loss, often a side effect of chemotherapy or radiotherapy. A. Alopecia. B. Myelosuppression. C. Mucositis. D. Fibrosis. E. Erythema. The answer is, A. Alopecia. A function of the thyroid gland, secretes, A. Immunologic substances. B. Thymosin. C. Corticosteroids. D. Thyroid stimulating hormone. E. Thyroxine. 
The answer is E. Thyroxine. Anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, A. Hypophysis. B. Hypothalamus. C. Adenohypophysis. D. Neurohypophysis. E. Thalamus. The answer is C. Adenohypophysis. Which of the following secretes cortisol? A. Testes. B. Ovaries. C. Adrenal medulla. D. Adrenal cortex. E. Pituitary gland. The answer is D. Adrenal cortex. Hormone secreted by the pancreas A. Estrogen. B. Insulin. C. Vasopressin. D. Epinephrine. E. Glucose. The answer is B. Insulin. Hormone that regulates calcium in the blood and bones A. Parathyroid hormone. B. Thyroxine. C. Thyroid stimulating hormone. D. Prolactin. E. Prostaglandins. The answer is A. Parathyroid hormone. An example of an electrolyte A. Insulin. B. Sodium. C. Renin. D. Glucagon. E. Steroid. The answer is B. Sodium. Exothalmus is a sign of which of the following endocrine disorders? A. Endemic goiter. B. Thyroid carcinoma. C. Graves disease. D. Nodular goiter. E. Pituitary gland hypertrophy. The answer is C. Graves disease. Characteristic of acromegaly. A. Enlargement of extremities. B. Defective cartilage formation that affects bone growth. C. Tumor of the cella turcica. D. Abnormal formation of cartilage in an adult. E. Hyperfunctioning of pituitary gland. The answer is A. Enlargement of extremities. Yellowish region in the retina that contains the fovea centralis. A. Optic disc. B. Posterior chamber. C. Macula. D. Sclera. E. Choroid. The answer is C. Macula. Eye inflammation commonly called pink eye. A. Iritis. B. Conjunctivitis. C. Dacryoidentis. D. Scleritis. E. Uveitis. The answer is B. Conjunctivitis. Myopia. A. Nearsightedness. B. Farsightedness. C. Astigmatism. D. Strabismus. E. Glaucoma. The answer is A. Nearsightedness. Bacterial infection of the middle ear A. Cirrhosotitis media. B. Cholesteatoma. C. Mastoiditis. D. Burotitis. E. Suppurative otitis media. The answer is E. Suppurative otitis media. Tinnitus A. Hearing loss occurring with old age. B. Dizziness associated with nausea and sensations of whirling motion. C. Sensations of noises in the ears without an external source. D. Dysphonia. E. Oral discharge. The answer is C. Sensations of noises in the ears without an external source. Visual examination of the ear. A. Audiometry. B. Otoscopy. C. Tympanometry. D. Tuning fork test. E. Thermoscopy. The answer is B. Otoscopy. Dermis. A. Basal layer of skin. B. Middle layer of skin. C. Epithelial layer. D. Above the epidermis. E. Subcutaneous tissue. The answer is B. Middle layer of skin. Absence of pigment in skin. A. Erythroderma. B. Melanism. C. Xanthoderma. D. Dermatitis. E. Thonism. The answer is E. Albinism. Profuse sweating. A. Anadrosis. B. Diaphoresis. C. Hydrodenitis. D. Seborrhea. E. Keratosis. The answer is B. Diaphoresis. Keloid. A. Thickened scar. B. Leukoplakia. C. Comedo. D. Callus. E. Wart. The answer is A. 
Thicken scar. Moles that can develop into malignant melanoma, A. Basal cell carcinomas. B. Squamous cell carcinomas. C. Faruqi. D. Dysplastic nevi. E. Papules. The answer, D. Dysplastic nevi. Surgical repair of a joint, A. Arthroplasty. B. Fasciectomy. C. Achondroplasia. D. Tenerafi. E. Process. The answer is, A. Arthroplasty. Malignant tumor of smooth muscle, A. Rhabdomyosarcoma. B. Lyomyosarcoma. C. Rhabdomyoma. D. Lyomyoma. E. Myorafi. The answer is, B. Lyomyosarcoma. Viral infection causing blisters on skin of lips, nose, or genitals, A. Kaposi sarcoma. B. Herpes simplex. C. Cryptococcal infection, crypto. D. Toxoplasmosis. E. Pneumocystis pneumonia. The answer is, B. Herpes simplex. Reduction in red cells due to excessive cell destruction, A. Pernicious anemia. B. Iron deficiency anemia. C. Aplastic anemia. D. Hemolytic anemia. E. Thalassemia. The answer is, D. Hemolytic anemia. Pallor, shortness of breath, infection, bleeding gums, predominance of immature and abnormally functioning leukocytes, and low numbers of mature neutrophils in a young child may indicate a likely diagnosis of A. Sickle cell anemia. B. Hemostasis. C. Acute lymphoid leukemia. D. Chronic lymphoid leukemia. E. Hemoglobinopathy. The answer is, C. Acute lymphoid leukemia. The ovum is the, A. Female gonad. B. Female gamete. C. Embryo. D. Fertilized egg cell. E. Fetus. The answer is, B. Female gamete. Finger-like ends of the fallopian tubes are called, A. Ligaments. B. Papillae. C. Cysts. D. Fimbriae. E. Labia. The answer is, D. Fimbriae. Gynecomastia. A. Condition occurring after lactation in females. B. Abnormal development of breast tissue in males. C. Abnormal discharge of milk from the breast. D. Abnormal condition of pregnancy. E. Treated with lumpectomy and chemotherapy. The answer is, B. Abnormal development of breast tissue in males. Menarche. A. Last menstrual period. B. First menstrual period. C. Absence of menstruation. D. Painful menstruation. E. Frequent menstrual periods. The answer is, B. First menstrual period. Gastrectomy. A. Gastric resection. B. Intestinal incision. C. Tumor of the stomach. D. Incision of the stomach. E. Resection of the intestine. The answer is, A. Gastric resection. Sarcoma. A. Part of the backbone. B. Flesh tumor. Benign. C. Malignant tumor of flesh tissue. D. Mass of blood. E. Skin tumor of epithelial cells. The answer is, C. Malignant tumor of flesh tissue. Amniocentesis. A. Incision of the abdomen. B. Paracentesis. C. Puncture to remove fluid from the abdomen. D. Puncture of the chest region. E. Puncture to remove fluid from the sac around the embryo. The answer is, E. Puncture to remove fluid from the sac around the embryo. Abductor muscle. A. Bending forward. B. Located proximally. C. Pertains to both sides. D. Carries a limb toward the body. E. Carries a limb away from the body. The answer is, E. Carries a limb away from the body. Buckle means pertaining to the, A. Cheek. B. Soft palate. C. Tongue. D. Teeth. E. Throat. The answer is, A. Cheek. Enzyme that digests starch. A. Lipase. B. Amylase. C. Glucose. D. Bile. E. Amino acid. 
The answer is, B, amylase. Lipase is, A, enzyme that digests starch. B, enzyme that digests protein. C, enzyme that digests fat. D, breakdown product of fat digestion. E, hormone secreted by the pancreas. The answer is, C, enzyme that digests fat. Common bile duct, A, cholecysto. B, cilio. C, colinito. D, colidocho. E, chilo. The answer is, D, colidocho. Nephrolithotomy, A, hardening of a stone. B, removal of the urinary bladder and kidney stones. C, removal of the kidney and stones. D, bladder calculi. E, incision to remove a renal calculus. The answer is, E, incision to remove a renal calculus. Childhood renal carcinoma, A, essential hypertension. B, polycystic kidney. C, glomerulonephritis. D, Wilms tumor. E, phenylketonuria. The answer is, D, Wilms tumor. Watch this video again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.